The fifth annual Corpus Christi Food and Wine Festival was once again a hit. Several members of the community spent their Saturday down at Heritage Park to enjoy the event. Our Ashley Gonzalez joins us now in studio to tell us a lot more. Ashley? That's right, Brian. The festival was created by locals for the community. The goal of the event is to generate money that will go right back into Corpus Christi. vendors or so there's probably you know half a dozen to ten food trucks out there with some other food vendors in the mix as well um, you know there's three stages with live music all day long it's a non-profit event so the money raised goes right back into the community from the first four events I can tell you that we've donated just over forty thousand dollars to local nonprofits so we average around ten thousand dollars a year in net uh, proceeds to local organizations some of those nonprofits big brothers big sisters uh, we have the nurse practitioners nonprofit is uh, has a lot of help here the festival started about seven years ago but a few obstacles got in the way which forced cancellations you know, the pandemic uh, was one reason why we had to delay, and then we, of course, had an unfortunate weather event. What ended up happening was we got weathered out. Mother Nature took over, and it was cold. So 2023 was the year for the event, and it was a success. For the first time ever, the Corpus Christi Food and Wine Festival sold out with about 2,500 people attending. Sometimes we, we forget that there's so many talented artists, so many talented you know, musicians, and just, you know, so many great people in the Coastal Bend community. And um, we just love the opportunity to be able to highlight that. And what better way to highlight their talents than by throwing a big party with a lot of wine and, and craft beer. Organizers say they're planning on coming back next year even bigger. Ashley Gonzalez, 3 News.